Scotland. A land woven with tales of valiant warriors, noble clans, and majestic castles. And set against the rolling hills and lush greenery of Aberdeenshire, is this most iconic pink castle. Craigivar Castle's origins can be traced back to 1576, when the Mortimer family owned the property, and began building the castle. Unfortunately by 1610, they ran out of money, and had to sell their unfinished castle to William Forbes of many. Eager to flaunt his wealth, William Forbes, a wealthy Scottish merchant, completed Craigivar Castle in 1626. But sadly, after having spent years perfecting it, he died in 1627, only getting to enjoy his beloved castle for one year. His eldest son William the Younger, would later become the first baronet of Craigivar. Originally built with more defensive elements, Craigivar Castle initially included a walled courtyard with four round towers. This architectural design is reminiscent of Renaissance fortifications. A time when conflicts and clan rivalries were still quite common throughout Scotland. However, only one of the round towers remains today. And it is seen here, looking more like a hobbit house. Constructed in the traditional Scottish baronial style, the castle is taller than it is wide. It rises seven stories in height, and is distinguished by its elaborate upper stories, which feature a continuous band of corbling, with conical roof towers, chimneys stacks, and gables. While the bottom stories were meant for defense, the upper ones were for comfortable living and style. Hence the contrast between the top, which is obviously more decorative, while the lower half was left completely unadorned. It wasn't until much later that the larger windows were added to the bottom, at a time when the clan rivalry had died down, and it felt safer to do so. The walls, which are rounded at the corners, weren't always so pink. For its first 200 years, Craigivar Castle was actually a creamy color. It only acquired its distinct pink color, in 1824. When Sir John Forbes, who had just inherited the castle, considered knocking it down for something more fashionable. Thankfully, architect John Smith came to the rescue. And convinced him, it was one of the most authentic tower houses left in Scotland. In turn, they agreed that a renovation would be the best solution. And in the midst of renovating the castle, they added new pink harling, to match the color of its granite detailing. The pink was an instant hit. And as a result, Craigivar Castle became a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from far and wide, who wanted to tour the magnificent pink castle. The rooms of Craigivar Castle are moderately sized, and adorned with exquisite Jacobean woodwork. Much of it installed by the Mortimer family when they started building the castle in the late 16th century. In addition, you'll come upon some of the most intricate of plaster ceilings in all of Scotland. Mind you, they've survived since the days of William Forbes. A considerable amount of furnishings dating to the 17th and 18th centuries can also be found. Together with Forbes family portraits, and rare antiquities showcasing the wealth and refinement of its inhabitants. The castle grounds are equally bewitching. They feature a Victorian kitchen garden, ornamental conifers, over 200 acres of vast parklands, enchanting woodlands, scenic trails, and idyllic vistas. In 1963, after occupying Craigivar Castle for 350 years, the Forbes family estate was entailed, and laden with debt and death duties. William Forbes, Semple, the last lord to live there, made a decision to bequeath it all to the National Trust for Scotland, provide that the government would waive the death duties, and ensure its preservation for future generations to enjoy and appreciate. He also stipulated that electricity may never be added above the ground floor. This is so that visitors can get a sense of how dark the rooms would have been, as well as how the castle's art collection would have appeared in the shifting sunlight of centuries past. It also meant that tours would only be available in the summer, due to the lack of heat, and dim lighting in the winter. Today, Craigivar Castle is still owned and managed by the National Trust, offering visitors a glimpse into the opulent lifestyle of Scotland's old aristocracy, while also preserving the stories and traditions of generations past. Meticulously maintained and restored throughout the years, it offers guided tours from late spring to early fall, while the grounds are open year-round.